Hello, and welcome to my tier list of Ivy the Eternal's new album, 2006 Assorted Tracks, 2021 to 2022. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so, starting us off with the first song in the album, May 21st, Intro Star Time. Let's take a listen. First thoughts. Um, I like the seamless transition into the next song. A lot of this album has that kind of thing, and I think it's really, really clean. It sounds really good, especially just on the vocals there. Um, let's see, May 21st. So, um, let, me, let me listen to this beginning part again. Let's see. All right. I like the horns. It's very funky. It's, it's very jazzy. Um... It's short, it's just a, you know, quick intro. It doesn't have a lot of variety to it. It's, like, pretty much just, like, kind of one solid thing. Like, one kind of idea just for, like, 50 seconds. Just zoop. Um, I like the tape deck. I like the click. I like the intro. I like the, the feel of it. And, like, the kind of remix instantly kind of, like, sets the tone for the album. Um, I think I'm giving this one... I think I'm going to start with a B, but I might move it up. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think B. Um, but for for the record, this is a very high tier list no matter what, because I like all of the songs in the album quite a bit. So I think out of the songs in the album, I'd give this one maybe a B. But let me listen to it one more time before I rate it. All right, listening to that again, I liked it. I actually liked it quite a bit more. I liked the... um. The, the grunge to it a little bit, the, the kind of tape deck feel to the song. I, I like the, the background of the birds and kind of like the cheers and the, it feels very alive, the music. Maybe S tier, but I'm going to bring it down to A because I couldn't, it kind of felt a little flat. It didn't have lots of depth that I could really, it didn't feel like it had that, that depth to the sound that I, that I wanted. Though it did have really beautiful arrangements of sounds and it was very, complex all right moving on to the gods meet their slayers is true no further details available at this time however how long you guys been down there i could use some help up here that's the cellar it's the safest place okay okay first thoughts i like the uh the vocal samples in there of like news reports and radio they're really cool um i think the um i don't remember the technical term for it but i think the use of the like kind of um, uh, the, like the live effects EQ kind of stuff that, you know, takes off the high frequencies and kind of like makes it, you know, really distorted and kind of like all bassy and then kind of high and stuff, that kind of thing. Um, I think that's a little bit overdone. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm like being dunked underwater while listening to the song a little bit. Not really in a bad way. Um, I think instead of maybe using that as much, use some of that, but then have like some stereo panning or something, have the music kind of like spin around and get some kind of like cool spinny sound, kind of disorientation a little bit. I think that'd be really cool for it. Um, let me listen to it again. It's a weary I really love the samples from like concerts and stuff that, that are put in there and the, the sound effects and the extra like environmental ambience to it. Just again, so much life in the music. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the of the air raid siren. It's a little bit harsh. It just, it just comes on like a little bit too loud, lasts a tiny bit kind of too long, where it's kind of like whew, a little kind of abrasive, I feel like. And I think the song kind of feels a little bit samey. It's a minute 30 seconds, and it's just this kind of like seven second loops going over and over again, kind of moving around a bit. But I think if it had some some kind of change to it, I like that kind of like radio kind of UFO tractor beam kind of sound at like 113, like you know, kind of like laser blaster little thing. I think that's really nice. And then that, that news clip of like reports of murder and there's like kind of like a siren going on in the background. It feels very apocalyptic, kind of ties that together. So I can see why that, why that siren is like in there before. Um... And I think that's a really cool undertone to the song, but having it be kind of in the middle and be so loud is a little bit abrasive. Um, no further details available at this time. However, how long you guys been down there? I 
<laughs> not gonna lie, not gonna lie. This it, I like the other one. It's kind of growing on me the more that I listen to it. But the real question is, would I listen to this just as a song that I want to listen to often, just as like a thing in my rotation? Mm, I don't know. I think it's a little bit too repetitive in my opinion. So I'm gonna put the gods meet in maybe. I'm going to put it in B tier for now, I think. Yeah. All right. Moving on to uh, American Money. Right off the bat, I really like the bass plucks. I like the kind of like, kind of like jazzy kind of funk vibe with like a bit of hip hop and that kind of stuff. And it's very like kind of smooth and flowing. I feel like, ah, I really like this. All right. All right. All right. So what I have to say about American Money. Ooh, all right. Um, I like all the background sounds again. The car horns, the kind of like bustling in the city, the the bells and like the kind of metal twangs and stuff. It, the song kind of feels suspicious, noir, detective-y. It's it's always kind of on edge, and it's it's yeah, it's it's very cool. I think. It kind of it kind of feels maybe a little drawn out. Like I feel like it should have some kind of a bit of variety in the middle. I think I really need to listen to these songs more though to form a good opinion because there's there's a lot to them and it's it's hard to kind of take it all in to like really really like feel the feel the music more. I think before I can make a good decision. But I'm gonna I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna put American Money in B tier. I'm gonna move The Gods Meet down to C tier for now. All right, next song, we're going to go to um, Take Care Interlude. All right, all right, <clears throat> Take Care Interlude. I think it's just, it's really, like, kind of light. It's grooving. It's just kind of, it's going. I really like, I just, I, I quite like it. I think it's just a really nice interlude. It's really, feels concise. It's just, I like that quite a bit. I'm going to put that in A tier, I think. All right, moving on. Uh, Windflower next. Mixing them on your car. All right, I'm like 30 seconds in. I love that like lo-fi electric guitar plucking and then the organ coming on and the crowd cheers. Just feel like this like concert recording or something. Very very cool. Let's talk about Windflower. Ooh, all right. I I really like that. It's very funky and jazzy and. It has really nice interludes where like the uh, like the electric guitar kind of drops away and you get like this kind of heightened and like slightly different like kind of organ tune coming in and it's just and you can and you hear like kind of like the original sample of that guitar at the end where it's like where it's like in the original kind of speed and stuff and ooh I just really like vibe and shit real groove and stuff I like it quite a bit I'm gonna I'm just gonna give this uh, I'm gonna put Windflower in S tier. All right, moving on. Uh, let's do Dreaming in the Key of Green slash Larson. Your ideas? Oh, man, I got a million dreams. The bird sounds and, like, traffic ambience is really great. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I thought it was a car horn, but it ended up being, like, like a trumpet. It kind of, like, faded between the two. That was sick. That was fucking cool. Like that. Okay. So fucking cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. I don't know. This is not piano. This is dreaming. Holy shit. Holy shit. Alright. Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. Dreaming in the key of green slash Larson. Okay. Damn. That is fucking sick. That's so fucking cool. It's just... It's just going. It is fucking... It is insane. Fucking S tier. <laughs> um, all right, moving on. East to West. All right, just listening to it once right now. I, I'm personally not a fan of rap music. I normally don't listen to rap. But this is pretty good, and I do like it. I don't know if I'll really listen to it on my own. But 
I think it's like damn solid. Like there's parts of it that really do get stuck in your head. I'm going to give this a solid B, like a high B because I think it's like really good, but I'm not a big fan of rap. So I don't know how much I'd really listen to this, but God is fucking, it's kind of baller though. <laughs> All right. So this is for East to West. Honestly, that beat is pretty killer, and it's just really vibing. The lyrics are great. I I like the rap. It's pretty good. Pff, uh, I mean, I think I think you know what? I think I'm gonna bump this up to like an A tier. Lastly, we've got five foot nine Gemini. Um, outro. That's all, folks. Let's take a listen. Um, it's, it's complex, right? And it's deceiving. People think. All right, this the saxophone. The um, man, I wish I remember anything about music right about now. But that um, you know, the organ spinny thing. That spinny, the spinny organ. This organ with the spinny box for the sound. Ooh, it's nice. Yes. You know, to each other, they don't, right? Oh my god, and that like little xylophone. Ooh. Alright, I'm mitted in. Um, we've got the waves and like kind of like the, the, the kind of shouting or cheering thing. And it just it just sounds so God, it's so funky and like it's just so fucking good. <laughs> and you got it's really like kind of like coastally feeling, but like warm and like a little bit hilly like if i had to describe it as like landscape it's like a like a grassy hill just up from the beach or something it's really nice oh <laughs> holy shit God damn, God damn, that had that song. It had so much like variety and like feel and life and depth and and sound and atmosphere to it. Really, the atmosphere, like the vibe of it. Holy shit, easy S tier right there. Oh my god, damn, that is that is a fucking like sunny day of a song. Ooh, sunny day like a, like a jazz festival or something. Oh man. Oh, that's a banger. Okay. Um let me listen to the God's Meet one more time. Okay. I'm a little worried by the end of this tier list, it's gonna be like basically all A and S because the the more that I listen to these songs, the more I like them. They're really they're really growing on me. And um listening to the God's Meet um again after going through the album. Oh my god. Oh, I really like it. I'm gonna bump this up to like an A tier. <laughs> Um, let me listen to American Money again and see and see what I think about it after listening through the whole uh, the whole album again. All right, all right, I like that. I really, I, <laughs> all right, I really like American Money. It's it's a pretty good song, but relative to everything else, I think I'm probably gonna rank it the lowest because out of the album might have been my least favorite, but they're all still really good. Uh... Um, I would say this tier list is all very high tier stuff, but to spread stuff out and make more room in the tier list for more like detailed rankings, I'm going to bring all of these down to B and put Windflower in A and leave uh, Dreaming in the Key of Green and 5-9 uh, Gemini in S tier as my top songs. I'm gonna listen to the intro again. Oh no. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, it's star time at the Apollo Theater. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna bring these two down. Bring this down and I'll leave that. Okay. I think I might be happy with this with this tier list. <clears throat> I'm listening to the intro again. It sets up a lot of stuff that's like these reoccurring themes in the album. We've got the um 
the metal chimes. We've got the we've got horns. We've got bird sounds, which are in a lot of the songs. We've got just kind of like general like world ambience, ocean birds, that kind of thing. Uh, we've got some like kind of crowd and some like samples of like what feels like concert and like festival kind of feel. It really sets up the album nicely. Um, so I think it's in it's it's a really high B tier. I would say because it sets it up really well. Um, but on its own, I still think it's quite good. But I think it's about B tier. So, I think this might be my final ranking. <laughs> Until I listen to the songs more, and it'll all change. Thank you for the music, Ivy. New shit.